Hey everyone, Dr. Travis Ziegler here from SalesFunnelHQ.com and I'm going to do a review today of AdBadger and just kind of show you around. And I really love this software. I've been using it for about three or four months now. And I did put a link down below that you can find more information on AdBadger and go over and visit their website. And if you use the coupon code BADGER25, all one word with a capital B, it is case sensitive, you'll get 25% off your monthly order. I am an affiliate for AdBadger, but I have I have no ownership or anything. I just love their software. Came across it. This is about my fourth one I've used. So let's jump in and let me walk you through it. So I love the dashboard, and this is taken in June 2018. So things might have changed since last since you're watching this and now. So, but this is June 2018. So the nice thing about AdBadger is when you first sign in. It gives you this great 15 video tutorial and don't be intimidated by this because these videos are very short and so you can see that this one is only about five minutes long and that's actually one of the longer ones most of them and then you can also speed up these videos because they're on YouTube so if you want to watch them at 2x speed it will take even half the time but they also have it written out right here as well and so he really talks about the peel and stick and block into the winter circle campaign this is a, a technique of managing your Amazon PPC to really take advantage and scale your campaigns. Uh, more information in the description below on a video series that I have that talks about that. Um, you can get the written SOP for free if you look down below as well. And then you can also purchase the video course down below. And if you want me to walk you through it, I can do that too in a coaching session. So, But let's keep going. So these are all the courses that you can take. And like, like I said, very, very short little videos here and there. That just discuss different things. This one's only 40 seconds. So it just talks about how to use AdBadger, essentially what I'm doing today. Um, the first tab here is your account navigator. And this is just going to tell you what you're pretty much what's working for you right now. So you can change what you're looking at. So that's clicks due to pay-per-click. You can look at conversions. And then you can look at other things like average ACOS. And you can look at a lot of things here. And then you can change the days right here. And then if you have pause campaigns or just all campaigns, all your campaigns are going to be over here on the left. Some of your ad groups, you just have to select a campaign to do that. And then you can see different thing, metrics down here and you can change what you see. So you can do conversions, 30 day sales, which, and then you can take a look at them right here. And then if you click into them, you can get even more detail. So here's your ad group. And then it goes down to the ASIN level. And so that's the navigator. It just kind of gives you some statistics. The main thing that you want to do for automating your Amazon PPC is come into Bids by Badger. And this is a highly effective campaign or highly effective automation system. So what I usually recommend is going about 10 percentage points above your break-even ACOS because you can't think of ACOS as losing money even if it is higher than your break-even because it's driving organic traffic. And so you want to kind of take that into account whenever you're accounting for an ACOS. And what I recommend doing is do an ACOS of about 10 percentage points above break-even. And of course, if you're going for something, if you're launching a campaign or trying to push it, I'd go even higher than that. And that doesn't necessarily mean that Ad Badger is going to push to go all the way up to that ACOS. You can see this is less, but this one's more. So it will optimize it for the best ACOS. It's not going to push to go for 45%. And so this one's 33%. And this one's, we're shooting for 60%, but it's way over. And so it's having trouble with that one. And that's, that's pretty normal. That just means that it's a usually more competitive product. Um, but then look at this one. This one's 5% and we're shooting for 60%. So it just depends on the product. Um, and it's very easy to set this up. So once you have your campaigns live, it takes about 12 to 24 hours for it to show up in AdBadger. I usually set them live and then I'll come in the next day. But you literally just click this button and you can calculate your break-even ACOS by putting in everything here. Um, but I already know mine, so we're just going to do 45% for that campaign. You just click Save and that automation is now turned on. So pretty neat, pretty easy to do and then you're pretty much done. This is another little tip and trick that if you have, this is a brand protection campaign and you don't want to optimize that because people are searching for your brand even if you're brand new. And so you can see you only spend about $175 and you make that much. So very low ACOS, well worth doing it. And then we'll do this one too. So 
So you can see I have my whole campaign set up for automation, which is really nice because then I can just forget about it. I don't have to think about Amazon PPC because trust me when I say that a technology like this is going to perform better than you will any day. And so trust the system. It's not always going to be perfect, but neither are you. And so this is a great tool to use for that. And I've tried four different tools and AdBadger has been by far my favorite tool. So let's go over to negative keywords. This is one of my favorite parts. And you can go to summary and just kind of see all the different tools in here. If you have a keyword that you don't care about the ACOS, then you want to add it to the whitelist. The whitelist is just simply when you put it in here, when you add to the whitelist, you'll want to add either filter existing keywords or add your own. And you can do it at the ad group level, campaign level, or account level. So like an example of that would be if you have a keyword like silicone spatula that you want to rank for no matter what, then you'll want to add this into here. And when you add it into here, no matter what, this will never become a negative keyword inside of your area. So that's the whitelist side of the negative keyword tool. Now you can see it right there. And so if you do predator mode, this is where you can set up your negative keywords. Right up here in the question mark, you'll click that and it will give you their basic keywords and then you can just hit the plus sign to add them in. These are their pre-built rules. You can add them into your campaigns and then they'll show up down here. And then if you want to customize them a little bit, you can close that question mark box. And then if you want to customize a little bit, you can actually hit the edit button right here. And so what all of these mean is um, the easiest one to get is kill low converting terms. And so you want to think about what your average conversion rate is. And if your average conversion rate is, let's say, 5%, then you don't want to try to rank for keywords that convert lower than 5%. So you might do over 20 clicks and under one sale. That means zero sales and 20 clicks. That pretty much tells you a 0% um, conversion rate. You might not want to go for that term anymore. So therefore, you can set a rule based on that. So you can see our rule is if we have a conversion rate below 6.67%, then we're going to make that a negative keyword. And then that makes it focus only on the positive keywords that are converting a lot better, which will rank your, your Amazon listing a little higher. This one's also price-wise. So if you spend $25 without a sale on a keyword or a search term, it will actually make it a negative search term. And then click-through rate is if it gets 2,500 impressions and does not it has a click-through rate of 0.15% or lower without a conversion, then it will make it a negative keyword as well. So you can keep the default ones, but if you want to get more aggressive like we have, you can change it. And depending on what your price of your product is, you may want to spend more than that. And so that's pretty much the basic rules. And you can always add and customize your own rules by doing this as well. And you can just name it, and then you can pretty much customize it however you want to. These are the actual actions. So if you go to negative keyword and actions, you'll see what keywords have been made into negative. And if you don't like a keyword that's been made negative, all you have to do is come into here and then hit undo. And it will put that right back out there and it will make it negative, negative again if it comes across through one of those rules again. So pretty easy to undo them. And then you can always add those to your whitelist if you don't want those ever made negative. So that's negative th the negative keyword tool. Forage mode is just where you can add your own negative keywords at a, a group, ad group level, campaign level, or account level. So if you already have some keywords that you've already determined before you started using this software, you can add them in right away so you don't have to wait for the rules to kick them in. And then finally, your reports. You can always download any of your search term reports in this area, and this will tell you your kind of account level, ACOS, your spend, your revenue, and just a couple graphs here and there, and then where all that spend is going right here. And then you can always download the reports too. So you can see these are the kind of the, the more converting top 25 keywords by revenue, top 25 ad groups by revenue, and ad, ad campaigns 
by revenue. So this is your reporting. So that's pretty much Ad Badger in a nutshell. Again, if you're interested in trying it out, there's a link down below. Use the, the code BADGER25 with a capital B, all one word. And that will give you 25% off for life, your monthly subscription. And if you go through that affiliate link below, that does give me an affiliate commission. So I appreciate that. And then um, let me know in the comments below if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date with other things that are happening on Amazon. Again, Dr. Travis Ziegler with salesfunnelhq.com. Thanks for watching my video and let me know if you have any questions.